this is iPhone 7, has a problem with the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi on-off switch, it doesn't work. Some people, they call this Wi-Fi grayed out. This is 100% a hardware problem. For motherboard problems, only technicians can do such a job. But stay with me, because I will show you how the technician should fix your phone. This part looks clean. This part, nobody has touched it before. So the other side, someone uh, worked with the audio chip because iPhone 7 has a common failure with audio chip. And this is the Wi-Fi chip iPhone 7 and 7 Plus has a common failure. It's manufacturing defect related to audio. It's not from the audio chip, it's from the PCP itself. Believe it or not, that this problem, which is related to audio, it affects sometimes the Wi-Fi chip. Even there is no problem with the audio chip. When we fix the audio problem, the Wi-Fi get fixed. But in this case, I see that someone has fixed already the audio problem. So. I'm confused right now. I will try to give the audio chip just a nudge to make sure that the connection under the chip is okay and test the phone and see if the Wi-Fi will work or no before I attempt to change the Wi-Fi or reboot the Wi-Fi chip. And you can see now that the problem is solved. Voila! For me, this is not the end. Obviously, I can give the phone back to the shop and charge him for the repair but maybe the problem will come again after a few weeks or month or two. So I prefer to change this chip and make sure that the connection under the chip is made right. Because this is, doesn't seem like uh, done properly. After removing the chip, I found a disaster here. I have to do jumper for one, two, three, four, five pads. If you like this video so far, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified every time I release a new video. Now let's continue. After we fixed those uh, pads, now we can return the same audio chip. The problem was not from the chip, it was from the pads underneath the chip. Now let's do a test. No SIM card sign. That means that the baseband chip is working fine and Wi-Fi on and off switch is working. There is no Wi-Fi networks showing because I didn't connect the antenna. Let's now test audio. Hello, hello. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. My work here is done. I'll see you next one.